Lights Out Shabbat by Serene Shellemson, illustrated by Jeff Ebeler. It doesn't snow in Georgia very often, but one Friday night it did. I was sleeping over at my Nana and Papa's house. The snow started at night right after we lit the Shabbat candles. Then the lights went out. I wasn't scared because we were all together. We had a yummy Shabbat dinner, cold grape juice, warm challah, cheese blintzes, and lettuce from the garden. Then we ate cherry snow cones, but the lights did not come on. Papa told me stories about when he was a little boy. The Shabbat candles burned low. I snuggled close to him and felt very sleepy. I dreamed the snow was a warm, fuzzy blanket. In the morning, the sun was bright, birds sang outside my window, but the house was very quiet. The electricity was still not working. Nana and I said a special prayer, thanking God for our good night's sleep and for waking up healthy in the morning and for keeping the house warm. But the lights did not come on. Nana and I went outside to make snowmen. Nana made a snow dog. I held her hand as we walked around the neighborhood. When we came back, my snowman had shrunk, standing shorter in the grass. Nana's snow dog had run away. My snowman disappeared while I was taking a Shabbat nap. Outside, the grass was wet and the air was chilly. Inside, I played with Daddy's and Papa's old toys in the attic. Soon, the house began to get dark. But the lights did not come on. Papa said he had a special job for me. He told me to look out the window for three stars in different parts of the sky. After I found them, he let me look at them through his telescope. Now, you can help me say Havdalah, said Papa. A special silver wine cup set on the table. Nana poured some grape juice. Papa said the blessing over wine. Thank you, God, for making all things exist. Like snow in Georgia, I added. Nana handed me the beautiful silver spice box. I closed my eyes and took a deep breath to hold in as many sweet smells of Shabbat as I could. Thank you, God, we said, for creating wonderful spices. Papa lit a large braided candle. Nana showed me how to make shadows on my hands from the candlelight. My fingernails looked bright like stars twinkling in the sky. We said a prayer and Papa put out the flame with a drop of wine. The candle hissed and curly gray wisps rose from the wicks. But the lights did not come on. The moonlight came through the window. Shabbat was over. Papa gave me a hug. Shabbat tov, he said. Have a good week. All of a sudden, the room was so bright I had to blink. The refrigerator began to hum. All the sounds of the house returned. And the lights came on. It looks like Shabbat is over for the electricity too, I said. We all laughed. I guess even the lights needed a Shabbat rest. Thanks for joining us, guys. And remember that AM and PM story time is for any time of the day, whether you're just waking up, noontime snacking, or bedtime is happening. Stop by and enjoy a book with us.